Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. It's Val in Vancouver here. I'm happy to see everybody. Hope everybody's doing well in this worldwide pandemic that's going on. I am not yet fully isolated. I am working full time still because I do work in an optometry office, although we are only seeing patients for emergency urgent care type appointments only. But uh, right now I am off for a couple days and who knows things could change tomorrow. I don't know. So in the meantime, I'm staying home as much as I can. I'm okay for supplies of everything and I'm taking precautions when I do go out and about. But today I just wanted to do a small pour for you. I'm going to try something new. But before I get to that, I wanted to show you a few things I've been doing lately. So one of the things did, I had an extra mask and probably was not a great idea to pour on it. But I decided to pour on it and it turned out actually magnificent. But probably can't wear the mask because when I do put it close to my face, oh, right now at least, it's only a few days, I can pretty much only smell paint. So probably not a good idea to have done that. But one thing I did do with the runoff from the mask, which is what you can see here on my uh, pee pad here. I don't change these every time, even when I do a video, because I don't want to waste them. But anyways, so in that runoff that came from the mask, I dipped some nails. I do wear artificial nails because I find at work my nails just don't grow because I'm washing my hands so much. But I dipped these nails into that runoff and let them dry and then glued them on my hand and my hands and put uh, a really pretty just a clear gloss top coat on them but I really love how they turned out so I'm definitely going to be doing some dipping more because I do my nails regularly and I love it. A couple other things I've done lately is I poured over some wine glasses that I have. Um, now these wine glasses, I don't drink wine but somebody had given me these years ago. So these wine glasses have the stem and the base is green glass but the upper part where you drink from is just plain glass. So I poured over these with a few of the deco art ready uh, to pour acrylic paint so these turned out beautiful I think I haven't clear coated them or anything like that yet um, I will do that in a little while but I want to give them longer to dry but they did turn out fabulous very very pretty I might end up I have six of them all together so I may end up doing more of those and then the other thing I did recently was the biggest um, Dutch pour that I've done so far this is a 16 by 20 canvas I don't even know if I can get it all in the picture for you. Let me just see if I, if I move these over, if that might help me get a bit more of it in the picture for you. So yeah, this is a, like I said, a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I just used, again, some of the ready-made things. I did find there that the base coat, the white that I put on, I used a little bit of the uh, Artist Loft white that I had and a little bit of the um, Deco Art white just to kind of use up a couple of the bottles I had. And I'm not sure if they just didn't mix well, but I ended up with some like ridges and almost like um, sort of uh, raised parts of the white on the canvas, but it still looks great. It's pretty much dyed to the, uh, dry to the touch now, but I'd still be careful touching it. It's not 100% dry, but it did turn out very, very pretty. Try and get rid of the uh, grease, uh, excuse me, the glare there for you. It did turn out very, very pretty. Unfortunately for me, because I love purple, that the violet color that I did put in there didn't really show up too much although there is some of it here and there little spots like you can see but anyways overall this painting did turn out wonderful I'm very happy with it still so that's kind of what I've been up to the last week or so um haven't posted a video for about a week because I've just been busy and yes a bit stressed about everything that's going on so let's get past that for now I'm going to put on some gloves to protect my gorgeous nails and we're going to do um I'm just we're probably going to do a flip cup pour but I'm going to do it uh, and use a different technique to see if I can create some texture in it. A different tool that I found at the dollar store. See if I can create some texture in it and have some fun. And it'll either work out great or it won't. Just like always, I try not to worry about that too much. So I'm going to do a couple things a little differently right now. Um, I'm going to use, sorry, this is a 10 by 10 canvas I'm going to use. I'm going to use just the Deco Art Ready Art, uh, Deco Art Fluid Art Ready to Pour. So I'm going to use the base, I'm going to use this chartreuse color because I really love it. So that's going to be my base coat. And then I'm going to do the flip cup with the tropical blue, the pink, and the lemon yellow. Hopefully the lemon yellow won't get lost in the chartreuse, but like I said, I just feel like having some fun. So I'm going to do, I am going to put some silicone in the three colors, not the base color I'm using. Um, so I do want to uh, do that, so give me a second here. And then we'll do the, oh, and, sorry, and what I'm going to use to um, 
kind of create some texture in this after I flip the cup and tilt it is I bought this at the dollar store and I can see going what in the world is that so it's kind of like a firm but soft spongy material and what it is it's a bottle brush so it's a scrubber brush that you can see there for cleaning you know inside water bottles or baby bottles or even inside of a vase or something like that so that's what that is and that's what I'm going to use and plan on just kind of gently rolling it through the paint to try and create some texture so it's going to be quite interesting again who knows what it's going to turn out like if, if nothing else hopefully I'll have a nice uh, flip cup pour from it so anyways let's do these colors so that I can add some uh, silicone to them probably going to pour a little bit extra because if I like this technique I might do um, another one with it or there, there's some other tools that I've bought recently that I'd like to try okay this is the tropical blue so I hope you are, are, are all weathering the pandemic as well as you can. Hopefully uh, nobody's sick and, and if you are, I hope you get better very fast. I know it's very worrisome for so many people. So many people still trying to get back. My boss who owns the clinic I work in is actually stuck in Peru. Him and his wife, um, they've been there, I think it was whatever date the government of Peru closed the borders. Um, they're hoping to get back in the next week to 10 days I believe but that's based on what I'm hearing and they're hearing about the Canadian government hopefully being able to send down some planes to get, to get people from Peru but that being said those people have to get to Lima which is not where my boss and his wife are and um, and then I've heard also of course reports that the Peruvian government is saying nope they're not going to let in any more planes or anything so Scary situation for everyone. I know they're safe and everything. They're in a hotel and all that, but uh, still, you know, they don't know when they're going to get back, etc. Neither do we. So, anyways, um, like I said, hopefully everybody out there, you're doing well and you're safe and uh, maybe finding some new hobbies. Maybe you want to try paint pouring while you're stuck in your home. Hopefully, if you are, you've already been out and had some, got some paint and some canvases. So try this. Get yourself set up to self-isolate if necessary or isolate if the government in your wherever you are uh, claims that it, that's what has to happen so I'm just gonna move those over and then we're just gonna flood the canvas with the chartreuse paint it's such a pretty color okay so let's just do this I really like it this color I'm not usually a green person but this is such a pretty color okay let me just spread this around. I just have push pins in the bottom of my canvas to keep it off the mat so that I can easily pick it up to tilt it. I'm trying to use the push pins more often than I use cups because I do find with the cups the painting um, can stick to the bottom of the cups and then I end up with a muck on the bottom of my painting and so I'm trying to remember to use my push pins more often so that that doesn't happen. But yeah, this is a pretty color. I really do like it. I just want to make sure all the edges are covered. It is Sunday, uh, the 21st of, 22nd of March here, um, and uh, yeah, I, I do plan on posting this video on the same day that I'm doing it. Um, some of my videos may not end up that way, depending on circumstances, so, but generally I do try and get at least one done on a Sunday to post for everybody and try and get a couple posted per week if, if I can. So if I do get locked down, then I'll definitely have lots of time to make videos. Luckily, I've got lots of paint supplies and just covering the edges here just because the paint's running down nicely I'm not going to just quickly cover them anything that runs off from the pour is going to cover even more so that's good my daughter who I have mentioned in the past who is an amazingly talented um, 
nail artist has done me a set of cherry blossom nails. I wish I could show them to you right now, but the picture is on my phone and I'm using my phone to record this video and she'll be mailing them out to me. She lives in Ontario and she'll be mailing them out to me soon, hopefully. Um, and yeah, they're just gorgeous. So when I do get those, I'm sure you'll see them in an upcoming video because I will definitely be showing them off. So now I'm just going to quickly uh, get the air bubbles out of this. Because as you saw, I shook this up in front of you. So there are a lot of air bubbles. I don't tend to worry about it. I do usually end up um, with my paints getting shaken up right in front of myself or whenever I'm doing a video. Let me just grab a paper towel. Just moving that out of the way while I pour the paints. Because I do want to, uh, you know, like I said, do a flip cup. So it's going to layer these in the cup. I'm just going to move this a little bit more. It doesn't really matter, actually, if I get any paint on them. It's all going to be spread all over. So, so going with the tropical blue first. I'm get at least two layers out of each cup. At least I should be able to. Next, I'm going to do that lemon yellow. I'm not always a huge uh, yellow fan either, but again, I do like this lemon. And then I'll do the pink. I'm only using the three colors plus the base, but the base is a pretty bright color, so definitely don't think I need more than these three colors. So it looks like I might only get two layers of each out of this. Yeah, I think I'll just go for two. The yellow, the lemon. Do you ever, when you're talking about colors, feel weird if it says that it's called lemon and you call it yellow? Do you ever feel like, oh, I called it the wrong color? No, it's just me? All right. <laughs> Anyways, funny things you think of when you're doing painting and stuff. And then we'll finish up with the pink. Because I put this chartreuse on here, I can't really just flip this cup. Or sorry, uh turn the painting upside down and, and put the cup on from underneath like I've done in the past. So I'm going to have to flip it really quick, hopefully not splatter everywhere. Uh, all right, so here we go. I'm not sure why I poured it. Maybe I should do it as a ring pour since I poured them in there and it looks so pretty. Let's do that. We'll call this now. See, this is what being flexible and adapting is all about. We will call this now a wreck a ring pour because I'm going to wreck it with that bottle washer. Oh, drop my paper towel. Okay, so I am going to do this as a ring pour. Hopefully the pink won't get lost in the yellow and the blue and the chartreuse. I can see it in there, so hopefully it will come out when I start tilting. There we go. Okay. Just going to give this a little torch before I start tilting it. Hopefully we'll get some nice cells. Well, there's already some nice cells in before I tilted, but let's start tilting it now and see what happens. And I'm hoping that we can get some nice color mixture here. Definitely getting some lovely cells. There's that pink. I don't want to lose that. So hopefully it's, I'm not going to run it off the edge. Okay, I'm just going to turn this around so you can see that I'm moving the paint in the other direction now. I said I don't want to lose all the pink, but it might be, it might happen when I try and cover that corner. I perhaps should have used a bit more paint and I 
could add more, but let's see where I get. I don't mind a bit of negative space. Always been a fan of it, so I'm going to leave that little bit of green that's in that upper corner right now. So we move over to this corner. Again, I'm going to leave a little bit of space there. And we're going to go down to this other corner now. It's very slow moving. I might not have moved, used enough paint on here. Perhaps should have filled up my little cup a bit more. That's okay, we're getting there. I like how over here the pink is coming through the yellow, almost making a little sort of a peachy color. Okay. Let's now. Hopefully let's stretch out the pink in this corner to see if we can get it to move a bit more without actually losing it. We had a bit of excitement at my office a few days ago. I think it was on Monday or something like that last week. We had a new HVAC motor put in for our air conditioning and filter and heat system. And we did get some weird smells, but we expected that a little bit because of the old one. We didn't realize it hadn't been working for quite some time. And so there was obviously going to be some dust and things coming out of that. But then, so that was done in the morning on that day. And then late in the afternoon, around 4 o'clock-ish, um, sitting at the front desk, right over where the new motor had been, right over my head was the new motor we had been put into the ceiling. My boss and I were dealing with a complicated uh, situation with a patient. And then I'm like... It smells almost like fire and then I and then she's like oh don't say that you know and then all of a sudden I look up and it's like uh there's smoke coming from the ceiling so yeah I don't think we had actual fire but the, apparently the motor was the wrong one that our tech guy our guy was given so we ended up having to evacuate the building not just our office because there are other offices um, companies in the building where I work um, just a small building but still and uh, so at least it was a nice sunny day. Everybody was fine. Nobody was hurt. There's actually not even any smoke damage or anything to our office. So it all worked out well. And then I got, you know, the eye candy looking at the firemen in the uh, uniform. So that was nice. And it was a glorious day to be standing outside for half an hour, 40 minutes while they took care of things and made sure we were all safe to go back in. So I really appreciate that, especially in all these trying times. So this looks pretty awesome. Um, I'm almost not sure I want to try touching it with this tool, but in the meantime, I'm just going to See if we can get any more cells to come up and also just get rid of any air bubbles that might be in there. Okay, so there we go. That is really pretty. I don't know if I want to touch it with this toy, with this tool. I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. Because I'm just afraid that if it, like I really like it right now, and I'm just afraid that if I go ahead and do this that it might ruin the whole look. But let's try it because I've been wanting to try this for like, I think I've had this for about a month now. So let's see if we can roll this gently through the paint and what it might do. And it might not do much. I'm trying not to drag it because I don't want to drag the paint. I just want to make marks in the paint with the texture of the little points. So I'm going slow. I'm trying to push hard enough to leave marks but not hard enough to, that I can't move it, I can't roll it, and I drag it through the paint instead of rolling it through the paint. Not bad. Let's try it doing it on the side. It's interesting. It definitely leaves a funny looking track through the paint. It's very hard not to just slide it through the paint. I want it to roll. I'm not making, I'm not sure if it's making a huge difference at all. It is leaving some marks though that are pulling up other colors, so th that is kind of cool. I'm 
I said it's very hard not to drag it through the paint and dragging it through the paint is, is something I might try in time hmm so the marks are pretty subtle when I bring you down although it did start to bring up some more cells there um, so maybe that's helpful and here it's made some interesting patterns in here like this where the blue is coming through the pink and yellow there um, not sure if it done a whole lot it's just going to give this one more little torch to see what it's like See if that changes anything, I guess, is the better way of looking at it. But I do like this. It's very pretty. I like the chartreuse in the corners and a little bit along the edge here. Um, I do like the pink and where this, like I said, the lemon and the pink blended. And then over here, there's a little bit of purplish coming through. And I guess that's the blending of the colors. The pink and the blue is starting to make a little bit of purplish, very light purple color. So not bad at all. What do you guys think? Sure, please let me know in the comments if you like what I'm doing here or in any of my videos or just give me some feedback. I appreciate hearing that from people. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that little subscribe box at the bottom and the little notification bell too so that you can uh, be notified when I make another video, when I post another video. Um, and I do put in the comments usually what I'm using and what colors, but if you want more information, you can always ask me in the comments and I'll tell you anything you know. It's not a big secret. So I'm going to come to, uh, take you down for a close-up in just a second here. Uh, just bear with me, okay? Okay, so here we are. I'm going to move down for a closer look at this. First I'll give you a nice high up look and then I'll move in a little bit slower. So it's a little bit challenging, like I said, to see the tracks at this little bottle washer left. Let's start in the bottom left corner here. So there's the bottom left corner. I do like the blue spots that are there. Sorry, having difficulty seeing what I'm showing you. Okay, so yeah, so I do like these blue spots over here that are in the pink and, ye and yellow. Now I'm just going to move over to the lower right corner. And you can see there where the... Um, uh, sorry, where I lost my thought there. Where the lemon and or the blue and the pink have... Uh, mixed a bit to make some, some violet type color. I'm going to move up here now to the upper right corner. You can see that pink flowing off the edge there a little bit. And then we're in the upper right corner. I do like the chartreuse little points there, like I said. Still negative. And we're going to go across to the upper left corner. So you can see that. Now I'm just going to pull back again to give you an overall view of the painting. But I really like it. Again, I apologize for the glare. Still working on the light situation or the reflection situation. It's going to be a harder challenge for me to fix that just because of everything else that's going on. But I think this is pretty awesome. And I'm going to link another little video to the end of this one that shows you some organizing I did with my paints lately that I'm kind of happy about. But in the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of those you love, wash your hands, practice social distancing, and just be safe. Thanks again for watching. Hello, good morning. Just doing a quick short video. Did some rearranging here because there's so much paint now that I'm not having enough room for it. So first I'm showing you my little Smurf collection because it is on the top of this built-in little shelf unit that's in the dining room of my apartment. And I do all my artwork on my dining room table. And on these built-in shelves that I'm going to show you in a minute, I had all my nail polishes. And these shelves were full, but I'm not doing much nail art anymore. My daughter is an amazing, talented nail artist, and so she's doing my nails most of the time for me. So I decided to take all my nail polish stuff and put it away for now, and decide to use these shelves for paint, um, because I just have so much now. So all I'm putting on these shelves are the uh, deco art, fluid art, ready to pour acrylic paints and the artist loft uh, ready to pour paint so I'm just going to give you a slow pan down here of the shelves there's four shelves all together so these aren't as full as my nail polishes were believe it or not but um, lots of paint here and that gives me more room I like being organized and now I can find colors easily and they're out of the way when I'm not using them so I'm less likely to knock things over or you know make a mistake or things like that so here are my paints on those little built-in shelves. The shelves are about five inches deep, maybe a little more, and then like I said, there's four of them and they're about 21 inches wide. So 
pretty good for lots of room for having um, my paints. Like I said, uh, don't have as much. Um, I have much more paint over on another little bookcase uh, that I have that are ones that I've mixed myself um, with a pouring medium. But these ones are all the ready mixed ones that I'm liking to use right now. I'm finding myself lazy, to be honest, about mixing pouring medium and paint together. So I'm really enjoying just using the ready made paints. Uh, I do like the deco art ones. They're new here. Um, Michael's has had them on until I think about today at 30% off. Today is the 19th of March, so I think the introductory 30% off price is done today. So I did buy a, quite a lot of them, as you can see, while they were on sale. So there you go. I just wanted to show you my organization and my Smurfs. Thank you.